Hi, my name is Jody Gaver, and I'm going to be talking to you about how to set up a distribution point with pre-staged content. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure we have our prerequisites in place. Usually Config Man will set up IIS for you, but I find about half the time it won't. Um, at the end of this, I'm going to share a document of all the different prerequisites and uh, what you need. So we need to make sure, first of all, that the site server computer account is in the administrators group. You need to make sure you have UAC turned off. I find that causes a lot of problems. So now we're going to go back to SACM in the administration workspace. Under site configuration, you're going to expand out servers and site system roles. And we're going to right click and create a site system server. We're going to browse out and grab the computer or server for our distribution point. And we're going to pick the site code. I'm going to put this under my primary. Usually the site server's computer account is enough to install. The only time I've ran into other instances in other domains um, and issues with trusts that I've had to set up accounts on those other domains. I don't need to set up a proxy server. We're going to select distribution point. We're going to let Config Manager install IIS. Um, if you use branch cache, you would enable this here. We don't have PKI set up in this current environment, so the self-signed cert's enough. And we're going to come back to enabling the distribution point for pre-staged content. Drive space. Uh, generally, I would choose another drive letter and have other storage set up for uh, this demo. I'm just going to let it default. We're not going to set up a pull distribution point today. Um, we'll talk about that in another video. I'm going to go ahead and enable Pixie support. And I always want to make sure you get a password on here so you don't accidentally do something you're going to regret. On the Pixie server response, this is how long you have to hit F12 uh, to start imaging. We're not going to set up multicast in this environment. Generally, unless you're imaging hundreds and hundreds at the same time, you won't notice it anymore. Content validation, I found this causes more problems than not. If one little hash gets off, um, your, your packages will be corrupted and causes a lot of issues. Uh, boundary group. I'm going to go ahead and add an existing one. It's nice you can actually create one on the fly. And I do allow fallback source for content as I have multiple distribution points. So now we should go to the monitoring workspace. And we can expand out distribution status and the distribution point configuration status. And one thing you're going to learn about SCCM if you don't know already is it takes time and patience. Okay, so now you can see this is a distribution point. And in progress it says two. And it's just starting to process content. So you can right click on that and go to more details. And it's showing an error. So let's go check that out. So after I hit refresh, it looks like it is actually installing OK. And even though it says it failed, let's go look at the actual server to see what's going on. We can look here and see on the 13th, which is today, they actually, the, the content library is on here. I did have this set up for a demo the other day, so some of these are uh, older folders. This SMS underscore DP dollar sign is where all your logs are going to be. So 
So it looks like as of, yeah, it's currently going. And don't be scared by the red, SCCM tries multiple different ways. And it looks like things are moving. Okay, looks like that's green now. So we'll come back again in just a few minutes and see what's going on with the content distributing. Okay, and as you can see here, it's looking for these package IDs. These are boot images that I actually don't have anymore. So we're going to go to the software library and my boot images. And we're going to select both the 32 and 64 bit and we're going to distribute the content. When you have a pixie point, you have to have both 32 and 64 bit or it will not work. Even if you don't need the 32 bit one, it still has to be there. So we're gonna go ahead and select this DP. Okay, next, next, and close. And now you can see there's a couple in progress here. Okay, while you're waiting, um, if you're impatient like I am, I like to see that something's actually going on. So uh, if we use the UNC path and on my site server, if you go to the admin share program files, Microsoft configuration manager and logs, this DISTMGR log will show you a little bit more. And you can actually see things are moving right along with the different the different packages. All right, and after a quick refresh, well, actually that was about four or five minutes that uh, you didn't have to sit and be bored. We can now see that our distribution point is all happy. The content was all distributed. And we can go back and see everything ended in the distribution point installation. Another log that you can look at is this package transfer manager log. This will show you the content's actually transferring from the site server to the distribution points or secondary sites. Let's do a search here for my part of my server. And it's always really nice when you don't see a lot of red. Okay, so now you know a couple of logs to take a look at. Now we're going to go back and work on the pre-staged content. So in the administration workspace on the site server and then down on distribution point, we're going to right click and look at the properties. And notice you can always go back in here and enable branch cache, um, change the certificate if you're gonna go with PKI, set up multicast boundary groups. Um, one thing you might want to look at is the schedule. If this is a really slow connection you have, you can go ahead and say, you know what, Monday during the day, closed. Don't send anything out there, just do it after hours. Rate limits, you can set different rate limits depending on uh, what your network admin will let you do or what you should and shouldn't do. And you can also set up the pull distribution point. We're going to go ahead and enable this DP for pre-staged content and apply. And now if we go back and choose an operating system image, and we'll pick this guy. I'm going to go ahead and create a pre-staged content file. And I, well, normally I would do this on a thumb drive or, or something else to take out to the site.
and for time's sake, I did go ahead and already do this the other day because it takes quite a while to create these content files. So you would name your file and tell it to save. So normally that would be going, going, and going. And now once we have our pre-stage content file, we are going to, oops, sorry, right click on this guy and we're going to distribute the content. We're going to add a distribution point and we're going to pick our server. Okay, so I've distributed that. Well, I should, but now you see it's not the, the happy little green check mark we had anymore. It shows one in progress. So it says starting to process content. In just a minute, it will change. Okay, and if you don't have the patience to wait for it to actually change, sometimes a refresh will do it. Okay, it did, waiting for pre-stage content now. So if we look at the details on this, it's saying, hey, you have to manually put it out there. I can't do it. So back on the actual distribution point. In this SMS underscore DP dollar sign, in the tools folder, you have this extract content. And add an admin command prompt. All right, sorry about that. We have to CD into this directory. And then we can take a look and we have that extract content. And we're going to show you what commands there are. Slash p is a path to a pre-staged file, which is what we want. And the slash s is skip pre-staging of content when the same version or a later version already exists. So we're going to go slash p and colon. And I have these stored locally on here. It would be your, your portable drive. And if you have any spaces, make sure to use quotation marks. And we're going to grab the win 81.pkgx file. And we're going to do the slash s to make sure it's not already been there. No, and of course, I have too many C's. You guys never do typos, do you? I would edit the video, but I want to show that I'm not perfect either. All right, so I'm going to pause this for a minute because this can take a good 5-10 minutes to extract the content. All right, we're extracting away, and you notice it shows yet another log file location. I know, you're shocked, right? That's one of the great things about a CCM is it provides you with so many different logs. All right, so in the SMS folder, we are in SMS logs, pre-staged content. And we can see it's actually found the right whim and it's uncompressing. Okay, so all the content's extracted. We can flip back to SCCM and let's refresh. And content was now distributed. We can do the same thing with an entire task sequence. Oh, let's see, which one do I want to do? Oh, this one will work. You can right click on it and we're going to create the same pre-stage content file. And again, if it's a pretty good sized task sequence, it's going to take a while. So I've gone ahead and prepped one of these already. So we can go back and we're gonna run the same command line. 
but this one is just TS. And it's going to go through the same process. So we'll come back again in a minute and see where we're at. Alright, while we're waiting, while I'm waiting making this for you, I want to go back to our server roles and you can see that SCCM did install the WDS role. So back under log files, we have the SMS Pixie log. So when you're first trying to boot um, to Pixie on your new distribution point, this is where you could come to see if it's actually uh, MAC addresses are populating through here. And another thing while we're waiting, if you were ever trying to set up a distribution point and you're having issues with either the roles installing or content pushing, another thing I found is on the, the local server to make sure this Internet Explorer Enhanced Security configuration is off. So again, make sure you have your site server in the local admin group, i.e. Enhanced is off. UAC is off, and if you have another share for your content, if you didn't use the default C for SCCM to put its content library and such, make sure to check your permissions on not only the folder, but the actual share that it, it creates. And not that I want to mention it, but I will. I've done quite a bit of work with uh, setting up new school districts, putting distribution points out there, being involved in uh, helping set up the trust between the different forests and everything that's involved to make things work. So I'm not going to go into it on this video, but if you are going to attempt it or you already have and you're stuck, feel free to get a hold of me and I'll let you know uh, some of the things that we've done to make it work right. Okay, uh, I managed to get a lunch in and our contacts done, our con <laughs> contents done extracting. So now we can go back to SCCM to monitoring and we'll take a look on the details tab and it says content successfully out there. So now um, all you'd have to do is deploy that task sequence that we just distributed there to a collection that's in that boundary group and you would be able to to image off that new distribution point.